Hi, Miss Holly's class. Are y'all ready for another day at the beach? I am. Look, Miss Holly has on her beach shirt. Can y'all see those fish? And it's bright and pink. So, okay. We're gonna start our day, just like we're in the classroom. We're gonna go ahead and start with our hug. Everybody give Miss Holly a tight squeeze. Thank you. Okay, let's do our pledge. Right. Put your hand on your heart. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job, Miss Holly's class. Okay. Guess what? It's a new month. It's not April anymore. Does anybody know what's after April? Let's do the months of the year song and so we can see what's after April. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. Those are the months of the year. One more time. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. Those are the months of the year. So did you get it? Did you hear what Miss Holly said? Okay, let me see if I can find it. It's not April. Uh-oh, I gotta get my little sticky stuff on here. See if I can stick it up. Let me put this on the back of here. So no longer April. It's, did everybody say May? It's the month of May. And what letter does May start with? M, that's right, May. So look, I don't have any numbers on my calendar. So can y'all help Miss Holly fix my calendar and count with me? So we have to think about when was the first day of May? I believe it was on a Friday. So, y'all ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's after ten? That's right. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Does anybody know what's after 20? 20, 1, 20, 2, 20, 3, 20, 4, 20, 5, 20, 6, 20, 7, 20, 8, 20, 9, 30, and then there's actually a 31. So Miss Holly, I'm gonna stick the 31 right up there because there actually is 31 days in the month of May. Okay, but today it is, let's see, today is, I want everyone to say today is Tuesday. Tuesday, and look at my pointer. So, it's Tuesday, May, it's gonna be a short number since it's the beginning of the month. What number is this? It's the number five. So it's Tuesday, May the 5th. Good job, Miss Holly's class. I know, April went by so fast and now we're already in a, a new month. It'll be summer soon. So, um. So we have our calendar. Now today, we're gonna to be doing a new craft. We're gonna be talking about a new fish in the sea. But first, I wanna go over our Mother's Day songs. I bet you're getting good at these by now. And you know Mother's Day is coming up. It's like in just a few days. So, 
I hope you're remembering these a little bit. So I want you to sing them to your mom. They're gonna love it. So let's start with We Love Mothers. Ready? One, two, three. We love mothers. We love mothers. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Mothers are for hugging. Mothers are for kissing. We love you. We love you. Thank you, mothers. Thank you, mothers, for your love, for your love. Mothers are for hugging. Mothers are for kissing. We love you. We love you. Good job. All right, the next one is our listen as we sing this song. So, one, two, Listen as I sing this song, telling you about my mom. She can cook and she can clean. She can wash my dirty blue jeans. But the thing she does so swell, well, is to make me feel so swell. It's all like a little boo-boo, but that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. If you just have a little boo-boo, your mom's still gonna love it. So, good job on the songs. So today, we're going to, you should have a, some seashells that look like this. And we're gonna go ahead and water color some more seashells. So I want you to go and get your watercolors if you don't have them already. Do you remember all the seashells that we've already done? We did a lot of these. Miss Holly has them sitting over here because we're gonna make our seashell book next week. We'll be all done. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six shells so far. So we're gonna do, we have six and we're gonna add three more. So that would be six plus three, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna have nine shells. All right. So let's get our paintbrush, our water, and our paint. And then you just make them however you want to, whatever color you want to do. You can do them different colors, or you can do them the same. Whatever you do is going to be beautiful. I think Miss Holly will sit in. I bet you're sitting down and doing your work. Okay, I think I'm going to make this shell. What do y'all think? What color is this one? Purple, oh, it's so pretty. I would love to find a purple seashell at the beach. Yes. Okay, so there's one. And then this one is a really pretty, look at this one. Looks like a star. On this one, I think I might do each little section a different color. What do y'all think about that? And just take your time. We're gonna cut these out when they dry a little bit. I'm gonna let them dry and then we're gonna make another craft. Okay, how about doesn't show up as much, but it's pretty. Okay. And then some orange. How about black for in the middle? Ooh, that's a fancy one. Okay. Last seashell. This one kind of looks like they call a sand dollar. Has anyone seen one of these before when you've gone to the beach? Do you like looking for seashells when you're walking on the beach? Have a little pail that you can put them in and stop and then you can take them up to wherever you're staying and put them all out and look at them and see all the different ones. Okay, see, there we go. Now, Miss Holly is gonna let these dry. So, when you're done with these, just set them to the side 
and let them dry and then we'll cut them out. So, <clears throat> the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about sharks. We're gonna make a shark. This is gonna be so fun. So, you should have, <coughs> excuse me, two sheets. This one is gonna be the body of the shark and then this one are all the parts that go with the shark. So it's a lot of coloring um, and cutting that we're gonna have to do. So before we get started on this, I thought that we would do a little song about a shark. Does anybody know what it is? Let's see if you know the sound of this. Are you ready? Now I want you to do this with Miss Holly, okay? So you're probably gonna have to stand up because I don't know all of this. Okay, ready? Ooh, what's that sound like? Ready? marker if you want to for everything. So what you're going to do is you're just going to color this whole thing. And Miss Holly just wants you to take your time, hold your hold your crayon the right way. Don't hold it like that, okay? You're going to going to be in four year preschool next year. I want you to show them that you know how. So hold your crayon the right way. Color. You know how Miss Holly would talk about sometimes when you have something big, how it's okay to do big with your crayon instead of, you know, instead of just doing like this. It's okay to do big when you have something big like this. And we're gonna cut it out. So it's okay if you get past the lines a little bit because we're gonna cut it anyway. So. It's a lot of coloring. It's gonna look so good when we get done. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a big, cause I want it to be, cause um, our shark is gray. So I'll make it all gray. Got that one done. So now let's go to this one. And if you want to, like Miss Holly always says, if you wanna stop the video and just go ahead and color this part or color all of it, and then you can come back to the video and we'll put it all together. I Miss Holly wanted to color it with you, so I don't have mine done yet. 
See how I'm going slower on the edges? And then in the middle, I'm going big. Oh, my hand's hard. Do you need to rest? Sometimes y'all tell me in class, oh, Miss Holly, my hand's tired. Can I rest? And I'll say, yeah, you can rest for just a second and then back to work. Or sometimes we stop and shake our hand out when it's tired, give it some exercise. So if your hand gets tired, give it some exercise. Stretch it. Okay, look at there. So I have these two done. So let's go ahead, since these are done, let's go ahead and cut these two out. So you just need your scissors and you're just gonna cut on the black line. And I know y'all are good cutters. All the way around. Okay, there's one. This is our next one. Two. All right. So I'm going to set these to the side and we're going to start on this sheet. Now, this one right here, your mom probably already showed you, this one just stays white. So, we'll go ahead and cut this one out because we don't color this one at all. This is gonna be the shark's teeth. It's gonna be his jaws. And then you might need just a little bit of help with this. Um, so you could stop with this part and let your mom and dad help you because what you're gonna do is you're gonna make teeth on here. So, let's see how I'm gonna do this. So I want your mom and dad to help you with this part because you just do like this and you're gonna go all the way around and make teeth. So I'm sure mom and dad will help you with this. See how sharp they are? See how that sharp those teeth are? That's sharks have sharp teeth. So we're just gonna go all the way around and let you, get, like I said, mom and dad can look at the video and they can see how to do this. Or they may know how to make sharp teeth. Okay, I think I'll do a few on the other side. Pull it out. Okay, that's probably enough. So see, there's his teeth. So I'm just gonna set that to the side. All right. Now, we are gonna color. This one, we're gonna color red. So this smaller one, I want you to color red. And like I said, you can stop, and Miss Holly has all the things on here that tell you what to color. You can just ask your mom and dad, and you could color all this all at once and get it all cut out, and then come back to the video, and then just put it together. And that way all your coloring is done, and all of your cutting is done. And then these two, we're gonna color gray. I dropped my gray marker, so I'm gonna get right down here. There we go. And so today, I don't know, but Miss Rail might be watching the video today. Sometimes she tells me that she watches um, the videos. So let's all tell Miss Rail hi, okay, today, in case she's watching. Hi, Miss Rail. We miss you.
I'm just, this is called outlining. I'm outlining my, what I'm gonna color. And then this is gonna be gray. Uh-oh, do y'all hear my dog? Okay, one more and then we're done and we just have to cut this out. I think this is one of the biggest crafts we've done so far for school. While we've been doing it on um, videos. But y'all are so good, y'all know how to do a big craft. Almost got it. What do you think? Does that look good? All right. Now, we just need to cut these out. Lots of cutting and coloring today. This is one of the shark's fins. Last one, and this is the shark's tail. all done with our cutting. I know that was a lot of cutting today. Okay, I'm gonna show you my shark. I already made a shark, I already put it together so you can kinda see what it's gonna look like. So look here. Does this look like a shark? It has its tail. See, here's the fin. The fin goes this way. And look inside. Snap! Oh my goodness! So we're gonna, now we're gonna put it together, everything that we colored. What do you think about that shark? I think it looks pretty good. So the first thing you're gonna do is take the big, the first gray one that you colored and just lay that down. You're gonna need a glue stick. Okay, so the teeth go on first. So what you're gonna do is just put glue on the back of it, rub glue on there. And we're gonna stick it right in the middle. Just like that. And then next is the red one. I guess this is the shark's tongue. See, right here. So we're gonna put this, put glue, need your glue stick, and you're gonna stick the red on top of the white. Now, on this part, you're gonna take your other gray oval and you're going to fold it in half. You're going to fold it in half just like this and when you take it like this and you fold it over you're going to put glue on this top part right here just on half of it because we want our shark's mouth to open. So then when we open it we're just going to lay it down on top like this and cover it up and glues on the half of it so look it opens just like that okay now for the tail the tail is gonna go on the end you can either <coughs> put glue on here but Miss Holly is just gonna take a piece of tape and I'm just gonna tape my tail on just like that see just taped it on and then for the fin, the fin goes up like this. Mom and Dad could help you with this. You're just gonna fold the little piece at the end so it'll stand up. And then again, Miss Holly's just gonna take a piece of tape or you can do it with glue, either way. And I'm just gonna tape my fin down. 
it's holding is it turn that around so y'all can see. See, I just folded it and I put a piece of tape right there so then it just sticks up. Now, if you have some googly eyes, we're gonna glue these on. If you don't, you can draw eyes on there. Just draw some black eyes. Just use a black marker and draw some eyes on. I think that will look great. So then here's my eyes. And to make it just look a little bit more like a shark, I just took a marker and I made some little fins on the side. Just some little lines on each side. And then there's your shark. Just take your time making your shark. When you get it all done, this is what you'll have. And it can open its mouth. Chomp. That was a cute craft. So, we have our shark. We have our, uh -oh, our whale. And we have our jellyfish. So we have the three things that we've made that you see in the ocean. Okay, so let's go back to our, and see if our seashells are dry. So we're gonna cut these out. And you can do these later if you want to, if they're not dry. And Miss Holly's gonna go ahead and cut hers out. They're pretty dry. Cause then like I said, um, next week, We'll make, um, we'll make a seashell book. You can put all your shells, glue all your shells inside a book. I think that'll look awesome. Okay, there's one. Here's the circle one. Just turn your paper. When you're cutting, that way you can hold your scissors still. Okay, there's that one. And then we have the star one. So cut and just turn my paper. You'll be doing lots of cutting next year. You are good, good cutters. There we go. There's our three shells for today. So we have our shark and we have our seashells. So the last thing Miss Holly wants to do today is I have a book about Smiley Shark. Look at Smiley the Shark. He looks pretty friendly to me. Let's see. Smiley Shark. Far away in a deep rolling ocean lived Smiley Shark. The smiliest, the sunniest, the friendliest, the funniest, the biggest, and the toothiest of all fish. Every day, Smiley Shark watched the beautiful fish that dipped and dived, jiggled and jived, and darted and dashed with a splish and a splash. Smiley Shark longed to splish and splash with the other fish, but whenever he smiled at them, they swam away. Do you think they were scared? Might have been a little bit. Smiley Shark swam up to an angelfish. Will you play with me? He asked. Angelfish shivered and shook, and then swoosh! She raced away as fast as she could. Puffer was blowing bubbles. That looks fun, said Smiley Shark but the puffer blew himself up into a big spiky ball and pricked poor Smiley Shark right on the nose. Boink. Starfish was twirling and whirling, dancing and prancing. What fun, jiggled Smiley Shark, but swirl. Starfish swirled off across the ocean floor. I think they might be a little afraid of the shark. Smiley Shark showed his toothy smile to jellyfish and to octopus and catfish. In a flash, they all took off as fast as they could swim. 
Everyone is scared of my big white teeth, wailed Smiley Shark. He didn't feel much like, a sm like smiling anymore. Splish, splash, twisting and turning, splashing and churning. The fish danced faster than ever. Smiley Shark watched from a distance. But this time, something was very wrong. All of the fish were trapped. Oh no. Help, said the fish. Please help us, Smiley Shark. Smiley Shark swam around and around the fisherman, fisherman's net. What could he do? How could he help? The only thing Smiley Shark could think to do was, what do y'all think he could do? Smile! Ah! Oh! Screamed the fisherman, dropping the heavy net into the waves. I'm getting out of here, he cried. Hooray, cheered the fish. We're safe. Thank you, Smiley Shark. Now, far away in the deep rolling ocean live Smiley Shark and all of his friends. And every day they can be seen dipping and diving, darting and dashing, splishing and splashing, and of course, smiling. The end. Wasn't that a cute story? He was such a friendly fish. Is that what you made today? Did you make a friendly fish today? <sighs> okay. Well, the last thing Miss Holly wanted to say is I was trying to think of something else that you do at the ocean, that you do at the beach, something that you do when you go there. Let's see, because we made a sandcastle and we went on a picnic, which I always like to take snacks. What about playing games at the beach? I love to play games at the beach, all kind of games. Well, I thought of one game. If you have one, you could do this in your yard. Does anybody know how to play Frisbee? This is a fun game. You can just toss it to your mom or dad or your brother or sister, toss it to them, and then they can toss it back. That'd be something good for y'all to play. So anyway, that's all I have for today. I will see you on Thursday. Miss Holly loves you. Bye-bye.